It is a new month and I've gotten some interesting Android applications to show you, so let's check them out. Starting this list, MJ PDF is an awesome PDF reading application which you will definitely fall in love with due to the amazing features it comes with as a PDF reading application. It is an open source application with features like auto scrolling when reading documents, you can adjust the speed of the scroll as well, turn the document into light or dark mode for better reading, choose whether horizontal or vertical scrolling, when you are manually scrolling or in auto mode, you will hardly get such features in PDF reading applications. And what's more, it allows you to open multiple PDFs. You can open PDFs straight from the web with this application through links. Trust me, this application is very nice even though there are tons of PDF reading applications out there. Try out this one and you are definitely going to love using it. It is free, open source and it assures you of total privacy. Link is in the video description. Next is another incredible Android application which goes by the name Dockalizer. Now if you are a fan of having simple Android tools like Edge Card Launcher, Quick Cursor and the rest, this application is also a good one to help you personalize your Android device. The app allows you to access other applications by bringing up a pop-up dock at the bottom of the screen which has a maximum of 5 selected applications when you long press on the home button, which by default is set to open Google Assistant. You can simply set it up, choose the number of applications, tap on each to add the app you would like to access, or select Recent which will automatically fill in with the recent applications. You can customize the transparency and the corner roundness. You can give this application a try for more Android personalization. Link is in the video description. If you do not own a Samsung device but you love the fancy animations on Samsung mobile keyboards, like this effect, this application which goes by the name Keys Cafe, emulating Samsung's, bring you similar themes like that of Samsung's, you can create your own custom keyboards, select your preferred effect on key pressing, you get lots of font styles and touch effects, it allows you to add your own photos to create photo keyboards, or you can just download already made themes, it is a free app on the Google Play Store so you can try it out. Moving on, this application which goes by the name Daily Diary is a very simple application which you can use to take notes of anything as the name suggests. Every day comes with a blank page whilst previous entries can also be accessed. There is definitely customization options. All your entries are stored locally which can be exported and transferred to a different device. One thing I like about this application is that once the current day passes, you cannot go back and edit whatever you typed in. So it really serves its purpose as a diary and so if you are that kind of person who likes mindfulness and note taking, try out Daily Diary. Next is this wallpaper application which goes by the name Wallman. It mostly contains high quality Google Pixel wallpapers with dynamic wallpapers if your device runs on Android 11 and above. But still you can get static wallpapers for those below Android 11. Some of the wallpapers have different variants. You can access the categories for more wallpapers and on top of it all, the UI of this app is nothing short of awesome. The link to it is in the video description. Following the wallpaper application is this very clean and minimal icon pack which goes by the name Letters Minimal Icon Pack. With a the minimal theme, this icon pack is designed to actually let you stay focused whenever you pick up your Android device. Since you get confused on which application you feel like opening due to the fact that the icons have only letters on them and no fancy, attractive or colorful designs. Aside the purpose of this minimalistic design, you can still have a clean home screen setup whenever you put these icons on your home screen. It is compatible with almost all the popular third-party Android launchers, it is free and open source. The last app in this list is this game called Data Wing. In this game you have to race through some neon outlines or landscapes. You are the data wing and you do deliveries. You jump to a different stage once you finish the previous one and you earn gold gems. You have to follow mother's instructions. It is a bit of a throw off initially due to the difficulty with the controls. But once you get used to it, it is very addictive. It is free on the Google Play Store. Let me know if you love to see more gaming app reviews in addition to the regular best Android apps. There are two previous videos on this channel where I talked about the most mentioned Android applications this year by fellow best apps channels. 
If you haven't seen those videos yet, then click on these two cards to watch them. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel and also leave a like. As always, thank you for watching.